Hey everyone, and welcome. Today we're tackling a really interesting problem called maximum fruits harvested after, at most k steps. It's a classic optimization problem that feels a bit like a game. We'll break it down into simple pieces and explore a couple of ways to solve it. Let's get started. Alright, let's look at the problem statement. We're on an infinite number line, and there are fruits at specific positions. We're given a list, where each item tells us a position and the amount of fruit there. The key things are, we start at a specific spot, and we have a limited number of steps, let's call it k pids. Every time we move one unit left or right, it costs one step. Our goal is simple. Collect the most fruit possible without exceeding our step budget. Let's walk through an example to make this concrete. Imagine the number line. We start at position 5. We have 4 steps to spend. At position 2, there are 8 fruits. At 6 there are 3 and at 8 there are 6. So what can we do? We have choices. We could decide to only go right. Moving to position 6 costs 1 step, and we grab 3 fruits. Then, moving to position 8 costs 2 more steps. In total we've used 3 steps and collected 9 fruits. That's a valid move. Or, we could go left. Moving from 5 to 2 costs 3 steps, and we get 8 fruits. Also a valid move. Comparing the two, going right gives us more fruit. This brings us to the core idea. For any stretch of fruits we decide to harvest, say from a position L to a position R place, there are really only two ways to do it. We either go to the leftmost fruit first and sweep right, or we go to the rightmost fruit first and sweep left. Our job is to find the best possible stretch of fruits that we can afford with our step budget. So how do we calculate the cost? Let's say our start position is inside the fruit range we're targeting. The cost is the distance to one end, plus the entire width of the range. For example, going left first means we travel from our start to the left end, and then we travel the full distance from the left end to the right end. We just pick whichever of the two starting directions is shorter. If we start outside the range, it's even simpler. It's just the distance from our start to the far end of the range. The first approach, which is based on the official editorial, is a bit of a brute force search, but a clever one. It basically asks, what if I commit to going left for x steps, and then use whatever I have left to go right? We can try this for every possible value of x sprits. To make checking the fruit totals fast, we first build a prefix sum array. This lets us find the sum of fruits in any range in constant time. Here's the code for that first approach. It looks like a lot, but we can break it down. You can see the two main loops at the bottom, one for each strategy. Go left, then right, and go right, then left. 